God Squad, what is your profession? Welcome y'all to Cityside Ministries and Picture Perfect Memory Films broadcast. Today what we're talking about, we're talking about images. And it's based on a movie that just was released. So today is what I'm talking about expressing how I feel about it, expressing and showing and telling what the Word says and also showing what the world is doing. So before we start, we're going to bow our heads and we're going to pray. Dear Father in Heaven, we come before you right now, Father God, in your Son Jesus Christ's name, to thank you, Father God. Thank you for this time. Thank you for the ones that are watching, Father God, who come to hear the truth, Father God, so that way they can spread the truth and live the truth. Father God, I ask that, that those that are listening that don't agree, Father God, with what is being said, Father God, that you send your Holy Spirit, Father God, to show them, Father God. Give them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of what it is that's being spoken. And Father God, I ask all this in your Son, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen again. So, what we are doing is, just like the prayer said, is expressing this uh, to those that might not know. Uh, so that way their eyes can be open to the truth. And again, I hope that you get knowledge and wisdom and understanding of what's being said from the Word and from what's being said here. So, I got the Wall Street Journal yesterday. Didn't have time to read it because I had to go to Jacksonville and pick up my sons, uh, Stevie T. Jr. and Curtis Michael who has a hit single out right now called Wrapped in Red. Pick it up on iTunes, Amazon.com, or you can go to eBay and type in Salvation CD Sleeves. And that, uh, that is, let me go show you these sleeves. Grab all of them for you. Those, these sleeves here, so those that are distributing their sermons, their music, DVDs, go there and order, and we will mail some out to you, and you will get a copy of this inside the packet. It's a way for us to promote and uh, get the independent gospel artists out there and win souls. If you go to uh, ebay.com and type that in, you'll see what we're talking about. Not meaning to take up much of your time, but I had to put that in there, you know, sponsors in Christ. Um, we're talking about Noah, the movie. 
okay? It's talking about things that was changed from what the Bible says. And we know that we don't supposed to change anything in God's word. So the question is, and the argument and the discussion is, should we do that? What do you think? Not. If we change God's word and turn into what we think, then we're misleading God's people. We are to be an imitation of Christ. Christ quoted from the word of God exactly right. Word per word. So that means, and I'm just preparing my scripture right there for you. And um, I'll give it to you in a minute. But I'm going to read you a part from what they said to get everything crunk for a second. Okay. It says three Arab countries are even refusing to release the movie. Muslims revere Noah as a prophet and some consider using images of sacred figures, sacrilegious. That's what we're talking about. Okay. So, one, they're changing the story to make it more entertaining. And of course, this is Hollywood that's doing it. Two, they're putting images of what's supposed to be Noah. And of course, we know the guy, the movie star that played the part, ain't Noah. We don't even know if he believe in God's word. One thing we do know is he believe in, and I don't have none on me. Hold on. He believes, sorry about that. He believes in this. Okay. So that can be an inspiration for him to do the movie. But maybe he's just not there yet to actually reject that movie. Now, some people are probably saying right now, man, someone offered me 20 million to do a movie? Man, I'm going to take it. If it's one by the price, oh yeah, I'm going to do it. Because it's getting the gospel out there. Well, is that lining up with the word? The word says to imitate Christ. Christ didn't star in no movies. He was a rock star to all to himself, by himself. He didn't need no cameras, he didn't need no flashing lights. He had the followers. If you want to be a rock star, just imitate Christ. And watch how you're following me. You don't need movies. Talk about money. He didn't need money. Remember the scripture where he told the disciple to go get the fish and get the money out of the fish's mouth? That was on faith. He had to have faith to know that that fish was going to cough up that money. But I don't think the fish literally <coughs> coughed up the money. The disciple probably went in there and took it out. Me, I would have ate fish, too. I wonder if that was a mullet. Mm. But back to it. Um, the images. The Word of God speaks about having images. And again, like I said, we're supposed to imitate Christ. We're the walking epistles of Christ. So... If we're doing that, then God's word gets out there from what we went through, from what we learned from him, and from what the Holy Spirit clearly teaches us. Going in a movie, imitating some one from the Bible of the word of God, is not right. 
I'm going to read this for you. And we're going to go to, it's in Exodus. Let's go back here and see exactly where it is. Exodus chapter 20. Okay. And if you know the Ten Commandments, you know where to find it. And it's in 4. It says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Now we're going to pause right there. You go to churches today, and even in people's homes, they have these pictures of this fake Jesus. Then, they have pictures of angels. They say as angels. I hear a lot of people say they've seen angels. And you know, the word do say, entertain strangers because they might be an angel. So the person you entertain, have you ever entertained an angel, one with wings that's flapping? Like a bird? No. And we have pastors, leaders in the pulpit, they're preaching the word of God, and they have a picture of this fake Jesus sitting right there on the wall, and they have this picture of an angel, a statue, statue, oh my goodness, a statue of a so-called angel, and you're speaking the word of God. Uh-oh. Is that, is that the piano man back there praying? And he said, what? No, not yet. But how can you preach the word of God knowing that these statues are right there? It was a big thing in, in the biblical days about having those images. And you can say all oh, you want that you're not worshiping these images, but you got to stop and say, what is worship? Worship is something that you love to be in. Worship is... You giving your all. Worship is your quality, loving time with Christ. Okay? Love is the key word. Why would I put a statue of anything in my home, church, it's because you love it. If you like it, you'll just remove it when someone will tell you about it. Love makes you really go get it. I love music. I got a mixing board. I love being on the computer. Of course, doing the Lord's work. I got a computer. I love being able to see what I do. Because I love doing God's work. So I can see it on both screens. The point I'm making is, you had to love it to put it there. In love is worship. In worship is love. God is love. So is God in that statue? He said no graven image. A lot of people argue and say what a graven image is. But, for the arguers, we're going to go even further. Because they say, oh, that's not a graven image. Okay. Well, God even broke it down even more for you, so that way you won't even go any farther. They say, oh, they didn't have internet back then. Facebookers, Twitterers, all of you, stop putting pictures of this fake Jesus up. Stop putting these pictures of these fake angels up on your Facebook page saying, oh, God covers me. Jesus walking with me. They have these uh, uh, fake Jesuses walking them with these poems and stuff. Stop it. Because you're going to see why. He goes on to say, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, Christ is in heaven on the right side of God. It says anything any 
likeness of anything that is in heaven or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. And I never really looked at that where it says under the earth. So earth is the ground. It says under the earth. Now that's deep because I never thought of it that way. Hmm. We'll be on that on another day. But it talks about anything that's in heaven. Now, a lot of people say they don't know where Noah is. Okay, they don't know if he's in hell or if he's in heaven. Either way it go, if he's in hell, which I doubt it, but I can't say. We still don't supposed to be making images of him or Christ. So those pictures you have of Christ, that's something in the likeness of it. So if we participate in you know, the likeness and the images. If we go to the movies and watch that movie, are we in sin? That is the question. Wow. That is the question. Because I feel if I go to the movies and watch that, and I know that they're doing it for entertainment, and Hollywood is all about entertainment, they're about a profit. They're not taking those prophets and giving those to the churches and the ministries. And, you know, it's not for the purpose of ministry. It's for the purpose of money. If you do your background on Paramount, who's doing the movie, done the movie, you'll see that they're about profits. Look at their stock, how it shoots up when a movie comes out. It's not about God. It's about money. It was about God. They would do what us Christians do. We'll take care of God's house. We'll take care of God's people with 100% of it. And we'll also be able to take care of ourselves. Because the Word of God tells us from the ministry we eat. So you might say to yourself right now, you might be arguing, well, that's what they're doing. They're eating. But it says the ministry. Paramount's film company is not a ministry. It's a company that's based on making profits. And some churches are about profits too. Not us. Just want to say that. So, say all this to, you know, say we don't even supposed to participate in it because we participate in someone else's sin, then we'll sin or with them. Let's do this example. Joe and Kiki was out in the park doing the do. Joe's married to Betty. Kiki's married to Steve and not me as Steve. So they're cheating. They're in sin. They're not married to one another. So me walking down the street and I see both of those going at it. Just going at it. Woo. Do I supposed to sit and watch that sin? This you with the Noah movie. Ooh. Ooh. No. If you watch that sin, you will sinner with them. Because the Word of God tells us if you think it, you've done it. So if you're looking at them doing that, you're thinking something. And I know a lot of you might say, well, I'm watching a Noah movie. I ain't thinking nothing. You're thinking something. You're thinking that man looked like Noah. Okay? Or you might be thinking something else. Or you might be thinking, oh, well, this is educational. So is the Word of God. So is the Word of God. It's educational. The Holy Spirit is educational. It teaches us. So, if we're taught by the Spirit, led by the Spirit, why do we need man to lead us? Every time they take some out of God's Word, they're leading us out of God's Word. So the ones that are just coming to Christ that don't know no better, they're going to left all kinds of things out. So when they read the book, they're going to say, oh, this book fake, I'm leaving it alone. They're going to think everybody's hypocrites because of what man said. 
But if we give it to them straight the first time, then they won't be led astray. And they'll walk in the image that God wants us to walk, which is in His Son, Jesus Christ. Subscribe to our channel, leave your comment, please, and tell me what you think about this movie. May God stay with you as you stay with Him, and God bless you. I'm Minister Stephen T. We out.